Sunday fun day. <laughs> uh, instead of doing chores around here, we are going to take a little trip to the Biosphere 2. Got a couple family members with us and they're eager to see it. And uh, we've been there before, but we're going to go check it out again because it's kind of cool. Uh, if you don't know anything about it, it's just basically uh, uh, some, uh, there were some scientists doing an experiment trying to uh, kind of encapsulate uh, Earth-like atmosphere to see if that could be maybe reproduced in space. And um, I don't know if you remember the uh, 90s Polly Shore movie, Biodome. I think that might have been loosely based on the biosphere too. But uh, come along, let's check it out. or handle it. My name is Claudio, and I'm going to be your tour guide. And the history tour is tailor-made for you, the visitor. I have many, many, many stories. I've only been here for 27 years. Maybe that's what I give the history tour. I know it's difficult to believe, but you must believe me. If you look at that ecosystem, or ecosphere, or closed system, or a flask, that is the beginning of everything. That is the first time somebody, and I tell you it was, Claire Folsom, tried to organize microbes. Those ecosystems, that one I think is from 1986, that's the beginning of everything, in trying to organize the system, those are microbes. Now think about it, our planet, Biosphere 1, is a big organization full of ecosystems. And, uh, and so Claire Folsom Again, Mikkel started doing that in 1960, and he was really one of the big reasons why we Biosphere 2. He convinced John Allen, Margaret Augustine, and Bill Dempster, and actually Mr. Bass to give us $150 million. From that, we built this. We built Biosphere 2, and it worked. The people went in for eight people for two years. They didn't kill each other. I know it, it makes you smile, but seriously, eight people for two years, it was not easy. They grew about 156 species of crops in the biosphere. In case you think about wanting to be a biospherian, remember, if you didn't grow, you didn't eat it, right? Every day for breakfast. Every day for breakfast for two years, porridge from sorghum. Not good. I'm telling you, not good at all. Before I forget, I promise somebody I'm gonna give you the recipe for ice cream, okay? You have to, you have to pay attention. You take a banana, you peel it, you put it in the freezer. Once it's frozen, you take it out, put it in the mixer. That's it. If you don't like the color, because the color is going to change, put a strawberry, give it a little bit better color. Now, if you invite your, your friend and you say, I'm going to make ice cream at the biosphere, you're not going to impress him too much, right? But you're going to tell your little friend when you invite them, you tell, are you listen, okay? You're going to make gelato alla biosphere. Are they going to be impressed or what? <laughs> hey! Thank you. 
What you're looking at are three artificial hill slopes. They are identical. They're all on a 10 degree fixed slope. Each one is about 100 feet long, 35 feet wide. Those soil trays are more than three feet deep. That means in each one there's more than a million pounds of soil in each of our hill slopes. It is the largest landscape experiment ever constructed. A lot of research is being done on agrovoltaics all around the world. When solar panels at the top here like we have, it's nice for the sun, but sometimes they get really, really, really hot. They lose efficiency. There is a point where they would lose efficiency if it's too much sun and too much heat. Um, so if you can combine um, crop growing with solar uh, uh, photovoltaic, you can actually improve the efficiency of both. It's a good combination. And so I think it's, it's an interesting thing to consider that we're taking uh, our, our, our sort of terrestrial companions with us because we need them. in the desert. You saw a clip of this in the video that you just watched in the theater. What's so important about aquaponics is water conservation. You can grow everything you see here with 90% less water than if you had it planted in your own backyard. So it's a great way to grow green plants and save water at the same time. What you're looking at here are three different species of mangrove trees. Mangrove marshes are very important to coastline ecologies. The root systems actually filter out a lot of impurities out of brackish waters along coastal areas. The way the roots grow, they form a good nursery area for small fish and crustaceans. They do provide both wind and wave protection along coastal areas. That's why we have them here at Biosphere 2. Thank you. 
fill that pot with water and change it five, six days. Maybe you don't have to water it once a week rather than every day. Um, and uh, it's a great way. Uh, you may want to try some of that in your backyard for a small garden. Everything that makes it possible, what we saw upstairs, is down here in the basement. We come down here for a reason. We want to see, let you see how much trouble someone had to go to to reproduce the weather and the atmosphere of Earth for just a small piece, this little three acre area that we have upstairs. There's plenty of room in the tunnel for everyone. There's a handrail to the left if you need it. Uh, the top and bottom of the tunnel are airlock doors. So watch your head, watch your step. At the end of this tunnel is another tunnel. It's a very short tunnel. It's only about eight feet long, but it's very low. Even I have to bend over to go through it. So good luck to you and you and you. <laughs> Usually everybody makes it, but there are a few exceptions. So follow me. Uh, we get an average of about a hundred thousand visitors in, an, in a typical year and uh, so it becomes a very big part of our budget so we thank each and every one of you very much for visiting with us today So that was the Biosphere 2. Uh, we had a great time today. I hope uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're uh, ever in uh, southern Arizona, just outside of Tucson, go check it out. There's a lot to see, a lot more to see than what you've seen in the video. And it'll help them out. A lot of great research going on over there. Uh, so in parting, uh, see you next time. And I'll leave you with one parting thought. Three, one.